In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up our reload function to be networked. Now, we don't have any third person animations or anything, so I want to go ahead and make some changes just so we can try to visually see it a little better. So if we go to our blueprint classes, player, Nazi zombie character, what we're going to do is select mesh, search for visible, and we're just going to, actually let's go to owner. So owner no see, and let's just actually, yeah, set visible to false. Then on the arms, or the mesh first person, uncheck only owner C. Then save. Now I should see both. See the set of arms, which we do. Which is good. So now we just need to fix the uh, weapon not really attaching to the correct socket. That's because we're doing a local player check. So let's just go to Nazi Zombie Character. Let's see, we are actually doing that in the character base. So character base.cpp. See on rep attach weapon is if locally controlled. What we're gonna do is simply change this to if true or is locally controlled. Then we're just gonna make a comment saying to remove true. So that way this is always going to be true and it'll attach the weapon to the hand socket of the first person mesh. I'm going to close that for now and this will just make it easier for us to see kind of the uh, replication in progress and know what we need to change and fix. So that way whenever we import the third person animations and set them up we know that they're actually going to be working. It should just be plug and play. So now let's give it a try. So we see the carbine, you can see the part of the fire animation playing, we just see only the weapon. And no reload animation, so. Now we need to fix that. So we're going to set the reload animation for the weapon to be what's replicating, and same thing with the uh, ammo. So we're going to create a server RPC that overrides it all. Let's see, so we have server fire. Let's do a server reload. And have no parameters. Let's create the uh, maybe name refactoring server. Yeah, they're all the same. So generate the implementation. And same thing with the implementation. So now what we're going to do in the validate, we're just going to return true. And in the implementation, we're going to kind of be doing the same sort of thing. So I'm going to copy these, and move them just above our reload function. So pretty much what we also want to do is we want to multicast the reload. So we're going to eventually have some multicast, or not multicast the reload. Um, actually, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that part out because currently we're only replicating between the client and the server. So if the client shoots, for example, when we were seeing that animation play, the other clients wouldn't see that. So that's something we're going to have to set up uh, once we get this kind of system in place we will start working on that part of it. So we have, let's see what we need, we need to do. Now we perform the reload. Before we return true, what we're going to do is call the server. So if get world is server, we're going to do a check. So if we are not the, if we are not the server, we call server underscore reload. And then what that's simply going to do is call reload. <clears throat> Simple as that. And uh, let's go ahead and compile and save. And we can probably make that exact same thing 
happen over here to where it does the same thing. So when we call fire, server fire, we do the exact same thing we call, well, we just do it on the server. I mean, we uh, call fire again. But we don't have any, eh, no. Can't actually do that with the way we have it set up currently. Wait for it to compile. Taking its good old time. There we go. Now let's just see what happens. Yeah, let's get out of the way. See the reload moving, I mean the magazine moving, and the bolt going to the rear, so that's all working. Another thing is, when we ran out of ammo the first time, so let me run out and reload. We could not shoot the zombies, no damage would be applied because the server was not setting the ammo, so when the server went to go do the damage, well, there was no ammo in it. So, we are good to go. So we now have the ammo, I mean the, uh, the ammo portion, same thing with the reload uh, setup and replicating. Now, in the next video, we're gonna be working on moving this over so other clients can see the actions happening as well. And we're also going to want to have this and this play alongside of it. So we're going to have to figure out some sort of system for that. So now that that is out of the way, I will see you in the next one.